Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And it happened yesterday in Wyoming. They had their primary where they had the opportunity to use the democracy that Democrats are always are whining about that are never being used. But don't, don't use it that way. They sat there and they sent Liz Packing with a 40-point loss. The people in Wyoming spoke last night. They said they did not want Liz Cheney representing them any longer because, heck, she was hardly in the state anyway for the longest time. She spent her time in Virginia where she actually lived, uh, where she could rub elbows with the rest of the swamp and the deep state and the media uh, who fawned after her. And they are now writing articles and articles about why she lost and how this is a disastrous day for democracy. No, that's that's what actually happened. You think that you, you always yell about democracy? No, that actually happened last night there in Wyoming, where the people say, yeah, we, we don't want the swamp creature anymore. She needs to go. And what a fantastic victory. And she had an epic meltdown during her concession speech. It was absolutely hilarious. I absolutely loved every minute of it. So before we dive into today's story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share this info with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1,500 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, smash that super thanks. As well. So let's go and take a look at this coming to us from WayneDebris.com. It says uh, Liz Cheney goes completely bonkers after losing her race by nearly 40 points. Yeah, it was a big loss. At one point, she was comparing herself to Abraham Lincoln. That's how absolutely uh, throttled she got. Uh, the biggest trader and rhino has fallen. Liz Cheney was defeated in her primary by nearly 40 points. What a humiliating and well deserved defeat! It couldn't have happened to a bigger trader. This day has been a long time coming. And thank goodness for the good people of Wyoming. We're united in ousting the, non, the no good Democrat in the GOP clothing. With 99% reporting, Trump's candidate Harry Hagman had a 66% of the vote, and Liz Cheney only had 29. And most of those were likely Democrats who changed from D to R to vote for Liz. That's right. If you guys remember, I talked about this. Last month, where she was begging, she was uh, instructing Democrats of how to switch their party to Republican in order to vote in the primary to save her job. And even with them doing that, it still wasn't enough for them to overcome the huge throttling that she received last night. And here it is uh, update with an estimated 99% reporting Hagman Lee Cheney 66 to 29. Huge win for Hagman. CNN called the race as Liz was giving her concession speech, but it wasn't your typical speech. Liz has literally lost her mind between the stages five of TDS and losing in such a humiliating manner. Liz has gone back crap crazy. Now she's comparing herself to Abraham Lincoln and suggesting that she will make a comeback as president. Could this woman be more insane and delusional? I don't think so. Uh, Liz Cheney is absolutely... Uh, bonkers and here she is melting down on uh was the cbs today let's take a listen the former president said last night you're now headed to political oblivion you said this fight is just beginning you've even uh, launched a political organization already so let's just be straight about it are you considering running for president yourself well what i'm going to do savannah is <laughs> spend the next several months uh, completing my work in Congress, obviously completing my work representing the people of Wyoming. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of work left to do on the January 6th committee. Uh, and also, though, uh, I'm going to be making sure that people all around this country understand the stakes of what we're facing, understand the extent to which uh, we've now got uh, one major political party, my party, uh, which has really become uh, a cult of personality. And we've got to get this party back to a place where we're embracing the values and the principles on which it was founded. Uh, and, and talking about, you know, fundamental uh, issues of civics, fundamental issues of what does it mean to be a constitutional republic. But Congresswoman, you didn't answer me yes or no. Takes yeah, I know that you... Donald Trump. I will be doing whatever it takes to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office. Well, I know you didn't say yes or no, and that's fine if you're thinking about it. But are you thinking about it? Are you thinking about running for president? It, uh, that's a decision that I'm going to make in the in the coming months, Savannah. I'm not going to make any announcements here this morning, but uh, but it is something that I uh, I'm thinking about, and I'll make a decision uh, in the coming. The hardest hit people of uh, Liz Cheney's lost hard Democrat media personalities. They're all crying about it. Uh, Savannah Guntry uh, being one of them, and yeah, here she is uh, <laughs> in an epic fashion comparing herself to Abraham Lincoln. This meltdown could not be more delicious.
most of the people in the crowd are Democrats, by the way. I'd just like to point that out. The great and original champion of our party, Abraham Lincoln, was defeated in elections for the Senate and the House before he won the most important election of all. <laughs> she just compared herself to Lincoln. She just compared, she lost the Senate uh, when she ran for Senate in Wyoming, and then she lost her House seat just now, and now she's comparing herself to Lincoln because she thinks she could run for president. Lincoln ultimately prevailed. He saved our union. And he defined our obligation as Americans for all of history. Speaking at Gettysburg of the great task remaining before us, Lincoln said that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And the people spoke, Liz, you're out shall not perish from this earth. As we meet here tonight, that remains our greatest and most important task. Most of world history is a story of violent conflict, of servitude and suffering. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know how anybody after that thumping 40 points a loss then decides to go ahead and compare themselves to Abraham Lincoln in their, uh, and then, even consider running for president. It's absolutely hilarious that this lady had a complete meltdown. I'm sure she probably threw her 15 box of wine by now, a supermarket brand wine as she's cracked or popped it open to drink out of the bottle. And as she's probably thrown things at the television after before that interview she had with Savannah Guntry. Absolutely amazing that this uh, loss came. I'm glad that she is um, not going to be returning to Congress now. Uh, of course, we'll probably see her on places like The View and probably CNN or MSNBC, probably wherever she gets a job. And she'll probably run for president and the Democrats will hold her up and saying that she is the model Republican. And of course, we know she isn't. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey and Gab. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. And of course, leave a let's go, Brandon. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.